All right, here's a challenge to all you charismatic so-called faith healers uh, who say that you have the gift of tongues and you can do sign gifts and you can heal people and stuff. Here's a challenge to you. Mark chapter 16, verse number 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And he that is believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And he that is and he that believeth not shall be damned. And it says, watch this. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In thy name shall they cast out devils. And and they sorry, I'm not good at reading on a computer. And and they shall speak with new tongues. So speaking in tongues, we hear. But look at this next verse, verse 18. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Here's my challenge to you charismatic devils out there, you, fa you so-called demonic faith healers. So if you think you have the gift of tongues, and you, have the, you, know, you can heal people and everything like that, the verse says right there, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Get a cup, pour gasoline in it, or pour chlorine in it, whatever you want to do, drink it, and if you really have to give the tongues, it shouldn't hurt you. Here's my challenge for you. So, again, I'll repeat myself. If you're a charismatic and you have, you think you have the gift of tongues, you have the gifts of the spirit, take a glass, pour gasoline in it, drink it. And if you are truly have the gift of tongues, according to Mark chapter 16, verse 18, it should not hurt you. It, it says clearly, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Okay, and for you charismatic devils to say, well, you're tempting God, you're playing games with God. Well, Revelation chapter two, verse number two says, I'm allowed, I'm allowed to test you. Revelation chapter two, verse number two, I'll read that for you. I know that works and that labor and thy patience and how that, uh, sorry, and how thou, sorry, again, I'm not good at reading on a computer, and how thou canst not bear them, which are evil, and thou hast tried them, uh, which say they are apostles and are not, and has, has found them liars. Sorry, I'm not really good at reading on a computer. You know, I, I'm trying to make that clear. But it says right there, and, and sorry, and thou hast, uh, tr sorry, ah, this is not going as planned. And thou hast tried them, which say they are apostles. See, the apostles were the only ones that had the gifts of the Spirit. So if you are a charismatic faith healer who say, oh, you're, not, you're, you're tempting God, according to Revelation 2, verse number 2, I'm allowed to try you. I'm allowed to test you. And another problem with that is saying, well, I'm tempting God. James chapter 1, verse number 3 says that God is not tempted. So, another problem for you charismatic devils. James chapter 1, verse number 13 says, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, never tempted he, or tempteth he any man. Okay? Do my challenge. Okay, if you truly have the gifts of the Spirit... Because according to Revelation 2, verse number 2, I'm allowed to test you, okay? And according to James 1, 13, God can't be tempted. So you can't say, oh, I'm tempting God. If you're a charismatic out there, <clears throat> get a bottle of gasoline, drink it, and it shouldn't hurt you, okay? And, get, and make sure you film yourself doing it, too. I want to see the proof, okay? There's my challenge. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.